So as you guys well know, there are a lot of color e-ink devices that come out, or e-paper. And just to clear the air one more time, saying e-ink is the company name of the company based out of Taiwan that sells the e-ink technology, the dev kits, the panels, etc. The correct term e-paper is one anyone can use. So to squash any confusion out there, or most confusion out there, we're going to be talking about the most popular five myths surrounding color e-paper today. Myth number one, and this is a big one, color e-ink makes your device slower. No, it does not. Color e-ink has nothing to do with the speed of your device. The array filter put over the screen itself is a passive layer. It's a rectangular or square piece of film that they put over the actual e-ink screen during the manufacturing process. And that is it. All happens from there is light goes through and bounces off and goes through a little honeycomb pattern of all these pixels and everything like that. And it comes back in your face and you see color. It has nothing to do with the speed of the actual unit itself. And it does not slow down your device just because you have a color device. So that one is completely false. Myth number dos is color e-ink is more expensive. Yes, yes it is more expensive. Of course it's more expensive because it's not just a little $2.90 AliExpress screen protector that the manufacturers put over the device and say, oh, it's color e-ink. It's not how it works. It needs to be built from the ground up from the manufacturing process. All these guys that have these units already, Pocketbook has a six inch, they wanna make a color. They have to start the production process and the manufacturing process all over again. Because again, you can't just open it up, put a layer and say, we're done. As you saw from our teardown, it's built into the actual e-ink screen. It's all one flat package that's steamed and glued together. So you can't actually just say it shouldn't be 80 or $90 more just because it's a filter. It's not as easy as that. And it does require the manufacturing process to start up all over again. Not to mention all the retail packaging, documentation and the UI changes to accommodate you using a color device. Numéro 3 is color e-paper is new. That is not true at all. That is totally false. This recent wave of color, color e-ink Kaleido, is new. Yes, it came out in 2020 with the iReader C6 in May. Maybe April in the Chinese domestic market, but basically May. No, it is not new. Color e-paper has been around since 2009. 12 years ago, Fujitsu made the Flepia, and that was actually a color e-paper made in Japan. And they moved on to other manufacturers like Ektako, making the Jetbook 1 and 2. There's even manufacturers that still exist today, still making e-readers to this very day, brand new 2021 units that were making color e-readers a decade ago, like Pocketbook and Hanvon. Those guys are still alive today, and way back in the day, they released some color devices they weren't the best and there was like a seven year gap between the last wave of color and this one so we can understand why a lot of people think it's new but no that's totally false color e-paper has been around since e-readers were made numero cuatro is that color e-paper and waterproofing doesn't mix that is false as well. A lot of these are false now that I think about it but that's completely false. The color filter array that gets steam glued or whatever the process is called to the screen during the manufacturing process has nothing to do with the plastic housing, the adhesion materials, the circuit board, the, the, the glass screen, the capacitive layer, the note taking layer, the screen protector has nothing to do with any of that. So that thin piece of film they put on from the production process has nothing to do with waterproofing IPX7, IPX8. It's just coincidentally the 12 color e-readers that are out and the high sense stuff, the 12 total units that are currently out right now just so happen to not have IPX, IP8 certification. But that doesn't mean they can't. If they really, they, that's just false. It has nothing to do with each other. Not that this is in any particular order, but an honorable mention before we get into our final myth is that DES is using e-ink. Now it is not. As we said in the beginning of this video and a couple previous videos, DES is not e-ink. E-ink is a company name that makes e-panels from Taiwan. DES is a Chinese company that is using a completely different technology. They are completely different technologies, different countries, different companies. They are not the same thing. E-ink 
is the main manufacturer of all the e-ink and e-paper related products we've known because really there's been no competitors thus far. Clear Ink, Liquid Vista, Mirasol, um, Pixel Chi. I mean, all of these things are either one-offs, concepts, or they lasted like, I don't know how long the Kyobo Mirasol lasted, but no more than say four or five months before it was discontinued completely. So this new DES slurry technology is not the same as the e-paper technology that e-ink is using. And if you want to see more on this, check out the previous video, the previous previous video, and some more stuff that's going to come out in the weeks to come. This is brand new stuff that just came out. I think it's right... Where is it? Right there, the re-ink stone. And there's the box right there. It's all real and everything. It's just, this is such new technology that we've only had it for two days at this point. We're just kind of steamrolling through this. But yeah, not the same. And the final myth, number five, is that Kaleido 2, Kaleido 2.5, and Kaleido Plus are different. No, they're not different. This is false. This was just a matter of naming disagreements between prototypes, dev kits, and launches at trade shows. It has absolutely nothing to do with different technologies. 2.5 is not bridging the gap between Kaleido 2 and Kaleido 3. Kaleido Plus is not some weird alien different technology, and Kaleido 2 is not out of date now. They're all the exact same thing. They're all the recent generation of technology. In Japan, for example, at the trade show where we saw the DPT color, that one is using Kaleido 2.5. They just had that because it was trying to differentiate itself between the last generation and show that it's like more advanced. And on the back of some Onyx boxes, it says Kaleido Plus. And then on some of the press material from E-Ink, it says Kaleido 2. They're all the same thing. They're all the second generation of color E-Ink Kaleido, the one that we see with our eyes, the little honeycomb uh, pixel pattern that we see when we look at the actual screen. Now, a lot of you might see this list of the five myths and have a lot more questions outside of that and that's great these are just the five most popular we had some guys and gals say a question about you know one particular thing well you know that didn't warrant being on this list because we had people that were in the hundreds that were saying waterproofing and Kaleido 2 is different well you know we wanted to squash the most popular myths if you come up with any other questions leave them in the comment below and tell us about it and ask us about it we'd love to maybe squash those myths as well and there's a lot that you guys might know that we don't so we can do some digging with our connections and surely find out for goodyreader.com and the top five myths surrounding color e-paper today this is peter Summer is right around the corner.